Hello friends, welcome again. So in this video, I will share my experience of replacing my editing laptop, which is a Windows heavy as hell laptops when I do traveling with iPad Pro M1. You are lugging around something which is unnecessary when it comes to weight if you are not actively editing while you are on a trip, correct? But in order to do the data transfers, a little bit of Lightroom touch up, a little bit of quick shots if I want to and a lot of entertainment, you definitely need something which is, you know, bigger than your mobile phone. Can that Windows laptop be replaced by this iPad M1? Let me show you what I did, how I did. So the number one thing which I carry, which you anyhow will carry with your Windows or Mac laptops is a slim profile mouse. This is from Microsoft. This is, I think, the Surface mouse. It has Bluetooth, so connects seamlessly with my iPad. Now, the second thing which you want to carry is a USB-C hub because your iPad Pro is starting from the M1 and so has only one USB-C port. Now, you can either charge it or you can use it to do data transfers, but you cannot connect a monitor which needs HDMI via that USB. Now, the one which I carry is from a company named Tekati. You can look. It looks like this. There are various companies. Apple also produces their own hub. Then there are Belkin, etc, etc. I will link some of them below. So this right here has the option of USB-C charging. It has cool LED light glowing all around it. So one USB-C for charging, one USB-C for data transfer, one and two. So two USB type A for again data transfers, one HDMI cable and again one, you know, your earphone jack. It also has Ethernet port, which I'm not using right now. So that's pretty much it what I need to carry apart from the charger to charge this iPad. And it can be a single charger to charge this iPad and your mobile phones. The 60 watt charger which I am using charges my mobile phone and fast charges this iPad too at the same time. If you want, you can carry a USB-C or you can carry a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard if you want a keyboard too. But I don't need much of typing. So whenever I need something which I need to type, I do it on this iPad screen. And if you want to do some audio recordings, this is the Rode mic which I use. It has USB-C port too. So I use this USB-C port to connect with the hub. And LumaFusion directly recognizes that. Basically meaning iPad recognizes this mic directly. And I can record the audio too or the voiceovers. So right now what you are seeing is the replication mode basically what you see on the iPad is what you see on the monitor. This is 27 inch monitor by the way and the iPad is 11 inch. So what you first need to do is go to the settings and go to display and brightness. Go to the arrangement and turn off this mirror display. The moment you turn it off, you can arrange your iPad how you want to be as like you know with the extension. So the moment I turn it off, now my iPad is, as you can see on the left, this is the mouse. You can see it hovering here and monitor is on the right. So iPad on the left, monitor on the right. You can change alignment by keeping iPad to the left, right, top or bottom, anywhere you want. Now this extension mode is amazing because it gives you option to use the extended format of the screen versus when iPad was getting replicated because that was showing the borders which was unused real state on your monitor. So if I like something right now, I can just pick it up, drag it up and just drop it here, the timeline which I have opened and I can just pick it up and drop it anywhere I want. Now pro tip, if you are traveling most of the hotels right now have a television be it a small or large, just carry your HDMI in case they don't have HDMI or it's not supported, the data transfer modes, and connect it and have a full fledged editing mode in front of you. Here basically I have two of these files app open. In one, I am looking at a different folder. On the second, I am using a different folder. You, again, you can use other apps too as a split window mode. So now it's very productive when it comes to using your iPad Pro like this. The best part about iPad Pro M1 and M2 and etc etc onwards is that they have amazing editing capabilities. Your videos be 4K or full HD 120fps, it does not get, you know, buffered or stuck or choppy when you are editing, especially on the LumaFusion. So this is LumaFusion. It's a paid software, but it's amazing at what it does in a portable fashion. 
But that was all for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Now, I know it's hard to get used to for the very first time. It took some time for me. But now, I am fully comfortable with it and ready to go ahead and use it.